Hi, welcome back to Vicki's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a dessert and it's going to be apple crisp. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my oven at 360 degrees. And then I'm going to um, use a pie plate, a nine inch pie plate, and I'm going to spray it with some butter spray. And then I'm going to take a can of 21 ounce can of apple pie filling. Just gonna scoop that in here. Now this pie filling doesn't have a whole lot of um, flavoring and I like cinnamon so I'm gonna add a little extra cinnamon to it. Get all that out of there. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on there. Okay. Then I'm going to take, for the topping, I'm going to take a half a stick of unsalted butter. Oops. I'm going to stick it in here gonna melt it for about 30 seconds and then while that's doing that we're going to use three-fourths cup of flour this is for the topping And then I'm going to add three fourths cup of quick oats. And then I'm going to add one fourth cup of white sugar. One fourth cup of light brown sugar. Pack that in there. And then I'm going to do one eighth teaspoon of salt. Find an eighth teaspoon in here. Ta-da! And a half a teaspoon of half a teaspoon of um, cinnamon. to stir that all up and a nice cold day this apple crust that will taste pretty good and it's you know crumbling up nice Just 
get all that mixed up there pretty good. Get it on the butter. take that and put it over the top. I'm just going to use this. It's easier just to pop it on there. Now this is enough um, crisps for raw four to five people, depending on your serving size. I mean, everybody's servings are different. Oven's ready to be um, ready to put in. When my oven is preheated to 360 degrees, I will put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, timer 30 minutes. And I will stick this in the oven. Stick it right in the middle there. Looks a little tasty there. I think I need two pot holders. I don't want to burn my hands. So that is easy apple crisp. It's a little bubble in there. It's a little hot. Let it cool for a few minutes and then we'll we'll test it out. Okay, so me and Mark's we're just gonna taste this and see see how it tastes. Let's put a little bit in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of cool whip on top. You could probably eat this with ice cream. We're just we're gonna taste this out of the same bowl. Two spoons. <laughs> okay. I'll let Mark taste it first. Well, it's sticking up uh, as yes. it cools down. Yeah, in the topping, um, as it cools, it will get more firm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's good. 
I'm thinking the topping needs to be ice cream. And I think it should be served hot. Because uh-huh. that is tasty. Mm. That is really good. And this is my problem. So you have the taste of the butter and the taste of the the cinnamon. That just that makes it the best. And the brown sugar in there and the apples, perfect dessert. When you get a last minute company and you need a quick dessert, this would be perfect. So that's going to be the end of my cooking video for today. Till next time, have a great day.